Hello and welcome to another Scuderia Car Parts video. Today we're having a look at our customer's absolutely gorgeous Ferrari Portofino. Um, and we've done quite a few things to this car actually. Uh, the biggest complaint that most people who own the new generation of turbocharged Ferraris have is that the sound isn't quite there. Uh, and if you look at something like a Ferrari 488 or a Portofino or even the 488 Pista, it doesn't have that flat plane crank howl uh, that we've all come to know and love from Ferrari. So the solution is obviously to install an exhaust. Uh, and with the Portofino, it's fairly commonplace to install uh, new back boxes, and we'll also install a manual valve control system as well to go along with that. But most people find that that isn't, isn't necessarily enough. Um, there's only a certain amount that you can extract from a car that's turbocharged in this manner. Um, and the back boxes go a long way to contribute to making that better, um, but we can go further. And actually in this case, the customer's installed the most extensive exhaust system that we've had installed on the Portofino to date. And what that consists of is uh, back boxes from Novitec. We've then also installed an X pipe and then upstream of that uh, we've also installed 100 cell sports cats. Um, now to sort of speak about those elements one by one, uh, the rear silencers obviously are valves, as I said they come with the valve control system which allows you to manually close and to open the valves at your discretion. Um, upstream of that we've then got the X pipe, now what the X pipe does is it replaces the central muffler. So you're getting a bit more volume um, and the beautiful thing about a cross pipe is that because it blends together the exhaust gases from both banks it sort of raises the pitch of the exhaust note uh, and that obviously contributes towards getting that Ferrari howl um, that you missed back. Our customer then also opted, um, opted to install the 100 cell sports cats as opposed to a completely decatted system. Um, Whenever you're changing cats, uh, you will flag up a warning light, as we've spoken about many, many times. And by this point, you probably know that the solution that we go for is uh, to install an OBD wizard from Capristo. And what that does is it just cancels out the warning light that flags up on the dash uh, because it, the car sort of registers that the cats aren't working correctly uh, or aren't working to the specification that they require. Again, only turns off that light. Uh, if you have any other issue with the car, the engine light will continue to operate as normal, um, but it just won't flag up that engine warning light pertaining to the catalytic converters. Um, now this car also had installed a couple of other things, namely Novitex lowering springs and spacers. Um, now I'm sure we'll have a blog post up that'll have some very, very clear before and after shots, but you can see here, um, that it doesn't actually look modified. I, I, I would probably assume that most people watching this video didn't even realise that it had been lowered. Um, and that's because it's not been slammed. It's not dropped within an inch of its life. It purely and simply just has had the wheel arches filled out a little bit. Now, um, if you drop the car and you don't install spaces, the car will tend to look a bit like a roller skate. So if we have a look up close, you'll see that in here we've got spaces as well um, and what that does is as I said it just fills out the wheel arches a little bit and it makes the car look a bit more sensible because um, the cars do ride very high um, I think if you compared this car directly to how it looked before you'd notice that actually it kind of looked semi-comical um, and in reality you know this this car is not something that screams modified um, you know if, that, if that's a look you want to go for we can absolutely oblige uh, but in most cases we tend to build what we call last 10 percent cars um, and all that does is it's just filling out um, the last 10 percent of the car sort of de-restricting the restrictions that were put in place by the manufacturers in order to get the cars homologated um, and that often results in quiet exhaust notes um, and very high suspension. Again, the ride height is not, sorry, the ride height is lowered um, but the ride quality is not compromised at all. Uh, the springs are variable rate so at low speeds uh, they are really, really compliant and supple um, and then the second you get them under load they stiffen right up um, and they just allow the chassis to be a bit more communicative. Um, so again, we hope, we hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, we look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks.